What's up everybody, Joe White here, and uh, this is going to be kind of a special video as you can tell by the title and as you can tell by what's on your screen. The Golden Globe Awards are just two days away. They got, are on January 7th. They're going to be airing live on NBC, and as part of my uh, love for movies, I thought I'd do something crazy this year and uh, do a little prediction video for you. 75th Annual Glo Golden Globe Awards is going to be hosted by Seth Meyers. He's going to be hosting for the first time. Oprah Winfrey is announced as getting the Cecil, Bill, Cecil B. DeMille Award. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's going to be airing live at 8 p.m. Eastern on, on NBC. <clears throat> Sorry, I have, I'm still getting over a cold, guys. So let's start off at the top here. Best motion picture. Yeah, I know. Everybody says the Golden Globes are... Uh, I mean, I know what you're going to say. Oh, the Golden Globes are fake. It's the Hollywood Foreign Press. It's still an award ceremony, so let's get to let's get to it. Um, best motion picture in a drama, in the drama category, I should say. Uh, Call Me by Your Name, Dunkirk, The Post, Shape of Water, Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Oh, this is a tough one, man, because all five of them are really good movies. From I I, I haven't seen um. I've seen three billboards. I've seen Dunkirk. I have not seen the other three yet. Um, but I, from what I've been hearing, The Shape of Water is going to get this one, and that's going to be my pick. I want to see The Shape of Water really bad. It looks to be fantastic. Everybody says it's fantastic. I have to, because I've seen it, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri is freaking phenomenal. If you have not seen that movie, you owe it to yourself to go see it. Um, I was able to get a screener of it and actually watched it the other day. And it's a beautiful film. Um, but my pick for best motion picture in the drama category is The Shape of Water. It's been getting a lot of buzz, and I think that's what's going to take it. Moving on to best motion picture in a musical or com comedy, uh, The Disaster Artist, Get Out, The Greatest Showman, I, Tanya, and later Lady Bird. I've seen all of these except for The Greatest Showman. I got to tell you guys, man, because... I want the Disaster Artist to win. I know it was on one of my on my worst movies of of twenty um, seventeen list, but it would do it some good to see it win. Um, it, it, it would shock me if it won. Um, I want it to win just because it's a shock value and it'd be good for James Franco and you know it, it would be interesting to see Tommy Wiseau take the stage at the Golden Globes because I seriously think that if he wins, if James, if they, if the Disaster Artist wins. Tommy Wiseau's taking the stage. <laughs> it's going to be freaking amazing. Um, but my my pick, my my official pick for this is Get Out, and it's the reason because it, it because it sticks out from the other five or from the other four. The other four are musicals and comedies, and Get Out is neither. Um, why it's even in this? Reason why it's in this is because they don't have a horror category, and it's too. Uh, they could have put it in the drama category, but if they put it, would have put it in the drama category, it would have no chance of winning. So my pick for this is Get Out. Get Out is a brilliant film. Jordan Peele directing it. It's going to be awesome if he wins it, see him take the stage. And and so, yeah, my pick for uh, best motion picture in a musical or comedy is Get Out. Let's go to best performance in a motion picture drama for our actor. Uh, we have uh, Timothy... Shalmet, by Call Me By Your Name, Daniel Day-Lewis for Phantom Thread, Tom Hanks for The Post, Gary Oldman for The Darkest Hour, and Denzel Washington for Roman J. Israel Esquire. This is a tough one, man. And I, I think that because it's Daniel Day-Lewis, and because he says it's his last, last time on the screen, I think Daniel Day-Lewis is going to win this one. Um, from what I hear, The Phantom Thread is, is an awesome movie. Um, a lot of twists and turns in that movie. Um, if you want to know more about it, I encourage you to go look at Movie Bob. Movie Bob has a review of this up on his channel, up on the Geek.com YouTube channel, so go check that out. But I I think Daniel Day may, may take this one. Going on to at Best uh, Performance in a Motion Picture Drama by an Actress, Jessica Chastain for Molly's Game, Sally Hawkins for The Shape of Water, Frances McDormand for Three Blue Boards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri, Meryl Streep for the Post, Michelle Williams for All the Money in the World. Frances McDormand has to win this one. Again, I, I know I, she is phenomenal in three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri. She deserves to take this one. Um, it would do it would do me good. It would make me smile to see Frances McDormand taking the stage and getting a Golden Globe for that movie. Let's move on to Best Performance in a Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy. 
In the actor category, you got Steve Carell for Battle of the Sexes, Ansel Elgort for Baby Driver, James Franco for The Disaster Artist, Hugh Jackman for The Greatest Showman, and uh, Daniel Kalua for Get Out. Here's the gimmick. Here's the rub on this one. If J- if Hugh Jackman was nominated for, um, if he, I'll put it to you this way: if Hugh Jackman was in the actor category for drama for Logan, he would take it. But as it's the Greatest Showman, I don't think he will. This one should go to for James Franco. Quite honestly, I may have not have personally liked the movie, and I may have been uh, quite annoyed by the accent. But after hearing the audio book of the Disaster Artist and and just uh, hearing. Uh, Greg Cicero's, you know, account of what went on coming from his, because I, I listened to the audiobook. Out of all these guys, and a musical or comedy, again, Daniel Kaluuya is nominated for Get Out. I don't know why Get Out is, is in a musical or commentary, com- comedy, but I'll say this. If Daniel Kaluuya wins this one, then Get Out will not win Best Picture. But if Get Out wins, if, if, if Daniel Kaluuya does not win this one, then I think the Hollywood Foreign Press has it booked. It, it, you know, I know I'm getting into pro wrestling booking here, but maybe this is the way it'll play out. Get Out probably will win if Daniel Kaluuya doesn't win. My pick here is James Franco. Got to go with James Franco. While I was annoyed by it, and while I, you know, didn't like it because of the way the movie made me feel, the movie is brilliantly acted, and and his portrayal of Tommy Wiseau is freaking amazing. So, um, it. it him trying to do the accent did it kind of annoy me, but it's a love hate relationship with me and the disaster artist. It really is. Um, so James Franco is my pick there. Um, in the actress category for best motion picture, musical, or comedy, you have Judy Dench f- for uh, Victoria and Abdul, Helen Marin for The Leisure Seeker, Margot Robbie for I Tanya. Um, I'm going to butcher this name, uh, Sorcy Rowan for Lady Bird. And then Emma Stone for Battle of the Sexes. From what I hear, Margot Robbie's going to take this one. Uh, I, I agree with what everybody else is saying. I, I like the I like I like I Tanya. I really did like that movie. Um, so I I'm I'm going to go with Margot Robbie here for uh, best actress in a musical or comedy. Now we have to go on to the supporting category: best supporting performance in a motion picture, drama, musical, or comedy. Um. It's weird how they combine the categories for the best for the supporting one. Um, supporting actor is Willem Dafoe for the Florida Project, Army Hammer for Call Me by Your Name, Richard Jenkins for The Shape of Water, Christopher Plummer for All the Money in the World, which is interesting because <laughs> because of Kevin Spacey getting swapped out there, and then Sam Rockwell for uh, Three bill- bill- Billboards Outside of Missouri. For this one, um. I'm going to go with Sam Rockwell because I just love that movie so much and it just it deserves to get a bunch of awards here. Though probably though uh, I'm going to pick my personal pick is Sam Rockwell. I don't think they'll give it to him though. I think they'll give it to Richard Jenkins cuz Shape of Water has the most nominations. That means it's usually going to run away with a bunch of stuff. It's either going to run away with all the awards or most of the awards or it's not going to really hardly win all but one. Um but I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Sam Rockwell here because I think he did a damn good job in Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Supporting actress Mary J. Blige for Mudbound, uh, Hong Sho for Downsizing, uh, Alice and Janie for Itania, Laurie Metcalf for Lady Bird, Octavia Spencer for The Shape of Water. Hong Sho is not winning. I if she wins this, it would shock me because Downsizing is a terrible racist movie. It just it is. It's racist to me. A lot of people are praising Mary J. Blige's performance in Mudbound. But um, for supporting actress here, I'm going to throw in my wild card on this one. I'm going to Lori Metcalf for Lady Bird. Uh, I like Lori Metcalf. I like her work at Roseanne and other, amongst other things. I think she might take this one here. Best Director. Um, we have Gilmore, Gilmo Del Toro for The Shape of Water. Martin McDonough for Three board, Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Christopher Nolan for Dunkirk. Ridley Scott for All the Money in the World, and Steven Spielberg for The Post. Wow, that's a that's a hell of a that's a hell of a hell of a a, uh, a group there of directors. Damn good directors. This one, I think Guillermo del Toro for The Shape of Water is going to win it. I, again, either Shape of Water is going to disappoint me, or it's going to make me a, a, a winner here in a lot of these picks. 
So Guillermo del Toro in The Shape of Water. Best, best screenplay, you got Guillermo del Toro and Vanessa Taylor for The Shape of Water. Greta Gerwig for Lady Bird. Liz Hanna and Josh Singer for The Post. Martin McDonough for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. And Aaron Sorkin for Molly's Game. Here's the category that's going to make me differ from Shape of Water. I think this may be the category where Three Billboards wins it. So I'm going to go with Martin McDonough. Um... And then we go to the best original score. We got Carter Burwell for Three Billboards, Alexander Desplat for Shape of Water, Johnny Greenwood for Phantom Thread, John Williams for The Post, and Hans Zimmer for uh, Dunkirk. Having seen Dunkirk, I think uh, Hans Zimmer might take it away here. Um, so there's my pick for best score. Best original song is Home for Ferdinand, Mighty River for Mudbound, Remember Me from Coco, The Star from The Star, and This Is Me for The Greatest Showman. I haven't seen any of these movies. Um, I haven't heard their tracks, but um, screw it. Let's go with Ferdinand. <laughs> Let's go with the home from Ferdinand. Let, I mean, let that be the shocker. Coco will probably take it, but I'll, I'll, I'll go against the grain here and say Ferdinand takes this one. Best animated feature film, The Boss Baby, The Breadwinner, Coco, Ferdinand, Loving Vincent. Coco's going to take it. Disney pretty much always does. Foreign language film, a fantastic. I don't even know if I'm going to do this one because I haven't seen any of them. <laughs> so we'll leave that one out there. Um, the following 17 films so The Shape of Water has seven f nominations, six nominations for The Post and three billboards, four for Lady Bird, and then the rest of them either have three or two. Um, then we get into the, the television category of things, and this is where it really. This is where it really kind of is, is, is going to, you know, be the ha-ha thing because it, it usually is for the Golden Globes. Best series for drama. You got The Crown, The Thrones, Handmaiden's Tale, Stranger Things, and This Is Us. I'm going to go The Handmaiden's Tale just because it ran away with things. Um, you know, it, at the last award ceremony that we had, I believe it was the uh, Emmys, I think The Handmaiden's Tale is going to run away with this one too. Musical or comedy, you got Blackish, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Master of None, Smilf, and Will and Grace. Will and Grace being nominated again is crazy in and of itself, but I'm going to go with Master of None. If you have not seen that TV show, it is funny as hell. Best performance in a television series for a dra in, in, a, in the drama category. For actor, you got Jason Bateman for Ozark, Sterling K. Brown for This Is Us, Freddie Highmore for The Good Doctor, Bob Odenkirk for Better Call Saul, Levi Schreiber for Ray Donovan. Last, uh, This Is Us took away a lot of awards at the Emmys as well, so I'm going to go ahead and say they give it to Sterling K. Brown here. Um, in the actress category for best performance in a television series for drama, you got uh, Katrona Battle, oh man, I'm butchering this name, Katrona Baffle for The Outlander, Claire Foy for The, the Crown, Maggie Gyllenhaal for The Deuce, um, Catherine Langford for thirteen Langford for thirteen reasons why, and Elizabeth Moss for The Handmaiden's Tale. I think that I think Elizabeth Moss is going to take it again. I really do. Um, so I, I think I think Elizabeth Moss did a damn good job in The Handmaiden's Tale. So I think she's my pick to win that one. Best performance by in a television series, musical or comedy in the actor category. You got Anthony Anderson for Blackish, Aziz Azari for Master of None, Kevin Bacon for I Love Dick. William H. Macy for Shameless and Eric McCormick for Will and Grace. Give it to Will and Grace here. Go ahead and give it to give it to Eric McCormick. Let him, you know, let them have a ha ha. We 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 came back and beat all you fuck you new fuckers. So that's the way it's going to be there. Uh, he's my pick, and he does a really good job in that role too. On the actress side, you got Pamela Alden for Better Things, Allison Brie for Glow. You got uh, Rachel Bronson for The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and Isaiah Ray for Insecure and Frankie Shaw for Smilf. I'm going to go, because this one is a pro wrestling theme thing, I'm going to go with Allison Brie for Glow. She's a phenomenal actress in that, in that show, and that show is awesome. So Allison Brie is my pick to win this one. Best performance in a miniseries or television film. Uh, Robert De Niro for The Wizard of Lies. Jude Law for The Young People. Kyle McLean for Twin Peaks, Ewan McGregor for Fargo, or Jeffrey Rush for Genius. A lot of people are loving Twin Peaks this year, so I'm going to go with, with old Kyle McLean for McClatchen. Excuse me, it's Kyle McClatchen, I think is how you say his name. 
She she is my pick to win, or he is my pick to win this one. Um, for best actress, as my phone goes off the background, um, in a miniseries or television or film, Jessica Biel for The Center, Nicole Kidman for Big Little Lies, uh, Jessica Lange in Feud, Betty and Joan, Sarah Susan Sarandon in Feud, Betty and Joan, or Reese Witherspoon for Big Little Lies. <sighs> Man, that's that's Jessica Biel is probably not going to win. At the Emmys, it really came down to. Big Little Eyes and Betty and Joan. And that's a hell of a... Uh, that that right there. Those four women. Hmm. I think Reese Witherspoon's going to take it. Uh, she's my pick. I'm going to go with Reese Witherspoon. Best Supporting Performance in a min- Series, Miniseries, or Television Film. Um, for Supporting Actor, David Harbour for Stranger Things. Al- Molina for Feud, Betty and Joan. Alexander Skarsgård for Big Little Eyes, Christian Slater for Mr. Robot, and uh, David Thelwes for Fargo. It would shock it would shock me if Alexander Skarsgård didn't get it. Um, it's either going to be him or Alfred Molina, but uh, my 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 pick is going to go to Alexander Skarsgård here. For a supporting actress in the same category, Laura Dern for Big Little Lies, and Dowd for The Handmaiden's Tale, Chrissy Metz for This Is Us, Michelle Pfeiffer for Wizard of Lies, and Shelly Ann Woodley for Big Little Lies. Um, I think Chrissy Metz is going to be snubbed again, sadly. I think she's going to not get it. Um, I think Ann Dowd is going to get it for The Handmaiden's Tale here. For best miniseries or television film, Big Little Lies, Fargo, Feud, Betty and Joan, The Center, Top of the Lake, China Girl, Big Little Lies is taking it. Again, it's swept everything. I mean, it's got six nominations. Two more than anybody else here. It's crazy, man. It's freaking crazy. So there's my picks here for the uh, for the Golden Globe Awards. I, I'm excited for this one on Sunday. There's nothing else to watch on Sunday. Um... So we will uh, we will uh, see if my picks were right. This uh, video is brought to you by our friends over at American Lucha Designs. If you need a graph any graphic designing done, if you need merchandise made, these guys can hook you up. Please, please feel free to give them an ad or a like on Twitter or a follow on Twitter at American Lucha. And uh, if you need any graphic designing done, hit them up. They will be happy to show you what they can do and quote your pricing and all that good stuff. That's at American Lucha. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at Joe Pillar to Post, and we will see you down the road.